Today marks the 30th anniversary to the Kiki Kai Kai series. Now this is probably an arcade game that is not really familiar to a lot of people, but this Japanese arcade game premiered on September 18th, 1986. Some people may know this game as Pocky and Rocky because that is the sequel. In Japan it was called Kiki Kai Kai Nazo no Kuro Mantle. It was released for the Super Nintendo on June of 1993 in North America. The sequel Pocky and Rocky 2 released for the Super Nintendo on November of 1994 in North America. And the last game in the series Pocky and Rocky with Becky released for the Game Boy Advance on October 18th, 2002 in North America. Now all these games have a very similar vibe and particularly with the last one, uh, Becky, this is pretty much a remake of Kiki Kai Kai. So in America, it really is the Pocky and Rocky series and they kind of neglected Kiki Kai Kai. It was actually bootlegged over here in North America and Europe as Night Boy. It had a very limited run and then it kind of disappeared because it was a bootleg um, from this Taito game and pretty much all the Pocky and Rocky games were kind of licensed out to Natsume who makes a lot of amazing games and of course I have a series on Natsume later in sometime in the near well I think it's actually the distant future but anyway I will cover Natsume games because they have a lot of amazing things but enough rambling so these games are basically shoot 'em ups but you actually control your characters essentially but you're it's very Japanese you are a shrine maiden in the first game, and then from every sequel from then on, you add more characters. Pocky and Rocky, for example, is the shrine maiden and a tanuki, and then you get a bunch of new characters in Pocky and Rocky 2, and then of course when they remade Kiki Kai Kai for the Game Boy Advance, they added Rocky, I suppose, and Becky, some other person. Uh, they're very, very quaint, the Game Boy Advance game and the original arcade game are okay you can kind of see what they're going for just kind of the shrine maiden going after these ghosts and other japanese demons and monsters but pocky rocky and pocky rocky 2 are fantastic games the pixel art is very great they are co-op which is always great for a lot of those great classic super nintendo sessions uh, they're really good they're kind of hard to fight nail and they're pretty obscure again this is a very very obscure retrospective that i'm doing right now because it goes by two different names really and even in america with pocky and rocky even though it was released here i would argue that probably not a lot of people know about this game but i kind of discovered it when i was looking for bizarre bits games i was looking for super nintendo games to cover for bizarre bits found it and then intrigued me so much that I decided I'm gonna hold back on this and actually just kind of look at the entire series because it's not that big and is very manageable on my part. So there you have it, a very quick short retrospective on the Kiki Kai Kai series. If I'm saying that wrong, I am American so I wear that with a badge of arrogance I suppose. Anyway, I think you should definitely check out Pocky and Rocky or Pocky and Rocky 2. Try and seek those out for the Super Nintendo enthusiast out there in this 25th year of uh, that console's anniversary. But the easiest game to play would be Pocky and Rocky with Becky, which is emulated on the Wii U Virtual Console. So if you want to buy that, there you go and experience the series that way. But that's it. None of the other games were uh, released on Wii or Wii U, at least in North America, to my understanding. And again, that's it. So happy 30th anniversary to Kiki Kai Kai. Did you know that was a Reaction Examiner video? If you liked it, you should subscribe to me to keep up with everything that I'm doing. Also, if you have some other interests, like sex for example, check out Tom Mops, which is a comedy sex podcast thing wherein my best friend and I check out the weird and abnormal and the erotic. And of course you should support me on Patreon because hey, I want to make the channel better and I want your help to do so. Plus, if you want to check out my writing, check out Game Jerk, where I have archives and new stuff for all projects, okay? You can find all the stuff and more in the description with the links below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.